I was new to college, I didn't know exactly how it worked, and then all the you worships and you gathers, they just seemed like a lot, which in reality they're not. They just, like, you know, the number looked big. So I initially joined HeartScan to, like, get rid of the worship credits. HeartScan is spending intentional time with uh, one of the members of our community at Union and just growing together. So the first time we met, we just talked about, like, where are you at spiritually in your life? And he shared that a lot of his spiritual life came from kind of a dependent stage in life where he was dependent on other people for his spiritual life, his mom or his school. Something I've, it was not necessarily I struggled, but I don't necessarily do it naturally, is talking about God. On my spiritual side, I'm like, hey, like, if I have a really good relationship about, about with God, you know, I will talk about Him more. And uh, that's something I shared with Santi and we would talk about that. At the beginning, I saw that Augustine was a little anxious and he was unsure of what was coming uh, as far as like college life goes. And so when we started going through our meetings, he would expect me to lead. And as the semester progressed, he started leading. Um, he started being the one that was reading the, the devotional book. I feel like my conversations with Santi actually did help me open up more about God with other people. It was really neat to see that progress where at the beginning he just wasn't sure of anything. He was kind of more dependent and as he grew he was just leading. <laughs> First I was just like I don't want to deal with the worship credits but then I realized I could have deep conversations. I could, you know, if I was struggling with school he was a person I could talk to. Um, I, like. I consider him a staff member and I respect him, but he, at this point I consider him a really good friend too. I had a very difficult summer this past summer and um, my grandmother was dying and I was laying bedside next to her and I was just going through a really hard time and I was praying and I was saying, God, I need a sign that you're with me. And during those moments, Augustine texts me. I mean, it's summer, we don't have communication with any students and he said, uh, you're in my heart, how are you doing? And to see that uh, spiritual maturity, like he said, you're on my heart, I don't know, there was some type of connection there and for him to text me to see how I'm doing, it was like, he's definitely leading now. <laughs> yeah. I grew up an Adventist all my life and uh, my mom's always told me and it's like five times a day told me, God is with you, God is right beside you, like as long as you want him there, he will be there, you know? And theoretically, I know it. I have, I've always struggled to actually feel it. And that just never happened to me. Like, even though I read my Bible in the mornings and in the evenings and I prayed, you know, I never actually had that vivid relationship with him till last year at some point. I don't know, I can't exactly tell you that was this day. Was, I just, one day I was like, hey, I feel good and I feel like he's with me and I feel like I can do this because he's right here with me. I think the time that we've spent in HeartScan together has already shown that he can lead in other places. I talked about him becoming an RA. Um, I was, I'm thinking about this year when we started this semester. I could see him out there pushing cards, helping people get into their dorm rooms, but not only carrying their luggage and stuff, but asking them, how was your summer? How, how are you doing? Tell me a little bit about yourself, really getting to know students. And I think that those are things that he had, he just wasn't aware of it until we did hard scan. And now I just see him flourishing in those uh, areas and just really thriving.